Okay, aren't these videos nice and cozy? I thought I'd do a final video on uh, recommended lenses for the new Fujifilm medium format GFX 50R, which we have right here. Right now I actually have the lens that's glued on there, nearly so, the 45 millimeter GF lens, which is a 35 millimeter equivalent field of view. I've been testing the GFX 50R now for many days. Also, too, I've tested every Fujifilm GF lens, which is currently seven lenses in the lineup. Cannot wait for that tiny pancake 50 millimeter lens to come out, which will be essentially nearly a 40 millimeter field of view. This is uh, my number one recommendation. Here I have four lenses, but let's first talk about of the seven lenses that are out there currently, uh, the three the three remaining not shown here that I don't recommend and that's just because this is my review I don't recommend I'm not a fan of the 63 millimeter not that it's not an excellent lens it's only very slightly smaller more compact than the 45 but compared to the 45 I mean the 45 on a scale of 1 to 100 it's literally the top 10 best lenses I've ever used in my life ever period be it medium format full frame anything um, so it, it basically scores a 100 out of 100. I mean that literally. The 63 millimeter on a scale of a 1 to 100, it's, it's, it comes in somewhere around maybe a 60, 65, same as its focal length. So the 45 is a far more useful field of view and you have tremendous croppability with, croppability with 51 megapixels on the medium format sensor. So that's my number one recommended lens as I've already stated. So we've left out the uh, 63 millimeter, the second lens to leave out and it's a wonderful lens. It, on a scale of 1 to 100, the 250 millimeter, which is a rather large lens and basically a 200 millimeter field of view, is being left out here because it is rather substantially huge on the GFX 50R rangefinder. Um, it's perfectly wieldy, however, I would uh, not think about uh, using uh, or hauling around uh, that camera lens uh, with uh, stress or strain. Uh, brought to bear solely upon the camera rather upon the lens and the tripod mount that's on there to take the stress off of the actual mounts of the GFX uh, 50R. But I mean, it's rather huge on this camera. Everybody that's used it on this camera will admit that, but it's more than usable. The other uh, last lens that I've not included is a 120 millimeter macro. It's a huge lens. It does have optical image stabilization, same as a 250 millimeter lens, but uh, I would not recommend that lens uh, high on the list really at all for the GFX 50R. And I'm a person that loves macro photography. I love it a lot. The uh, three remaining lenses, so first choice would be the 45 millimeter. And of course, it, too, I actually have to say, well, what sort of photographer are you? What do you plan on doing with it? Obviously, you might say portraiture. You know, forget about the 45 millimeter. I absolutely have to have that 110 millimeter f2, which is a field of view and equivalency of an 85 millimeter at f1.4, f1.5. Excellent lens. There's no optical image stabilization, nor do you need it. Right now, currently, I have it on my GFX 50S. This is the portrait lens. But the second lens I would purchase if someone were to say, I'm getting into medium format, I'm going to buy the 45 millimeter. What's the second lens to purchase? If they didn't give me a specific parameter saying, hey, I want to shoot landscapes, here's our landscape lens, or hey, I want to concentrate on portraiture, and here's a portrait lens, obviously. So the 23 millimeter, by the way, is a 18 millimeter field of view. This is an F4 lens. It's absolutely excellent. Um, but the second lens to recommend, and it is a substantially large lens, however, it is incredibly useful and I absolutely love it. Really, in many ways, it's my favorite GF lens. Um, you say, well, that's a zoom lens. You know, if I'm going to get a camera that's ultimate image quality, should I be buying a zoom lens? And it's always been the case in most instances as a general uh, generalization that's accurate is that uh, medium format zoom lenses have been incredible even since the days of film. There's no exception here. The 32 to 64 is a field of view equivalent of 25 millimeters to 50 millimeters. And uh, this lens is substantially large and heavy, so to say. Not bad at all, wieldy on the GFX 50R, but this would be my second choice and recommendation. So incredibly useful. Just one lens to do it all. If you wanted to do ultimate image output and 
It wasn't anything in particular. I mean, you know, travel, anything and everything. 3264, like I said, 25 millimeter to 50 millimeter field of view. Incredibly useful. Love this lens. I uh, would never part with it ever. But uh, second recommendation, or third, depending on when, you know, talking about landscape versus portraiture. So where is my recommendation at? Well, that depends on you. My recommendation is not your recommendation once it comes to these final two lenses. Obviously, the 110 millimeter, which, like I said, is an 85 millimeter f1.5 equivalency. This lens, or the 23 millimeter f1.4. Excuse me, f1.4. That would be nice, wouldn't it? 23. That would be that would be a lens about six thousand dollars, about ten times the size. The 23 millimeter f4. Excuse me, um, landscape lens, architecture and landscape and other things. A 18 millimeter field of view. Um, so those are my four recommended lenses um, for the Fujifilm GFX 50R in this uh, cozy little video I'm making on top of a blanket. <laughs> um, glad uh, you could watch and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Yes, this is my trusty, trusty GFX. Right now I've got the viewfinder off of it. This is my trusty, greatly beloved GFX 50S. And uh, I've had so much fun with the 50R. But these are my four uh, lens recommendations for the GFX 50R. And uh, definitely first choice of mine, this is my video review, not yours, is this 45mm, which is a 35mm equivalent. And uh, second, certainly so, the absolutely awesome and incredible 32-64 to uh, zoom lens. The other two, it's like, well, what's your forte? What is it that you need the most? The architecture slash landscape lens or the portrait lens? That's your decision, but definitely these four. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I flapped my lips a bit too much. I've had too much caffeine. Have a wonderful week.